Obama aide touts plan to de-Trumpify the Supreme Court. A top aide to former President Obama has touted a plan for Democrats to fight the Supreme Court. The plan only works if Democrats win the Senate and the presidency in 2020 and keep the House. Ronald Klain, the man who served as Obama's Ebulacher, thought the plan, created by Think Progress Ian Milheiser was super smart. The Civil Rights Act of 1991 offered a swift corrective to the Supreme Court. In 1989, the court handed down five decisions that substantially eroded the federal ban on employment discrimination. One of the major purposes of the law Bush signed was to override these decisions and replace them with rules more protective of civil rights. At the time, some members of the employer defense bar complained that the law reached beyond a simple restoration of prior laws to enact a regime that was more protective of civil rights than the one that existed before 1989. Bush initially vetoed a stronger version of this law, known as the Civil Rights Act of 1990. Nonetheless, the bill Bush ultimately signed into law represents a kind of congressional oversight of the court that has largely faded into memory in an age of legislative dysfunction and partisan polarization. Legislative overrides of the Supreme Court are becoming much less common. As a 2012 study by law professor Rick Hayson found, in the last two decades the rate of congressional overriding of Supreme Court statutory decisions has plummeted dramatically, from an average of 12 overrides of Supreme Court cases in each two-year congressional term during the 1975-1990 period, to an average of 5.8 overrides for each term from 1991 to 2000.